welcome to facts and awareness today i'm going to discuss with you on one of the most interesting topics which is going to happen in future lab grown food are you wondering what is this lab grown food well what if i tell you that in the near distant future you won't have the food that you see in your plate today yes you will not see the same food grown in farms anymore let it be rice wheat milk or the meat that you consume today not only that there won't be any animal farms no milk no egg or even the fresh catch fish from the ocean isn't it interesting well then what will you eat answer is simple lab grown foods yes the food grown in labs and factories will be served in your plate in fact you would be wondering on why we need lab food what is the problem with the regular food we consume now also i'm sure n number of questions will be running in your mind like will lab food taste the same like our regular conventional farm food that we consume today will this lab food be healthy am i right well in this audio let's discuss on what are lab foods how lab foods are made in factories and labs what is the necessity for this lab food now also if lab foods emerge will the regular farming become extinct in the near future how long into the future are we talking about when i mean by distant future and many more questions let's dive into all these questions one by one well first to begin with let's try to understand why growing foods in lab became a necessity before looking at how foods are made in lab do you know what is the current world population currently there are 7.8 billion people living in this planet as per the 1990 census world population was just 5.2 billion but in 2020 the numbers have reached 7.8 billion 2030 the world population is expected to reach 8.5 billion also by 2050 it is predicted that we might reach 9.7 billion population in this planet we need to feed in just 30 years from now so obviously the demand for food goes up as per statistics demand for food will go up by 60% if there is such a high demand of food we need to produce more food as well am i right in fact as per statistics 821 million people go hungry to bed every day that's nearly two and a half time population of united states also it is said that every 10 seconds a child in this world dies out of hunger Yes, you heard it right. Every ten seconds, your nearly three point one million children die out of hunger-related issues. We are not able to feed the entire seven point eight billion people now. Do you think we will be able to feed the entire ten billion population with the current farming production in just thirty years from now? That's where lab food comes into picture. You can make lab food quickly and also literally anywhere on this planet. Basis on why lab food should be grown. Why not we increase the production of the regular conventional farm food to feed the 10 billion people in future? That's where climate change plays a vital role since farm food is not sustainable. Now, let me share you what factors cause impact to agricultural farming land. Recently, climate change topic has become a global problem. Let's dive into how climate change impacts crop yield. Number 1, climate risk. Whenever drought happens, our crop fails or whenever there is an excess rainfall in a particular location, our crops rot, leading to great decrease in the crop yield. In fact, when California has excessive heat waves, cane tomatoes price soared. Similarly, Brazil coffee prices soared. This is not just an America's problem. The global trend follows across the world. That is why whenever there is a flood in Maharashtra immediately you can see onion prices soaring you can see how everything is being interlinked to farming and its environmental cost we very well know farming pollutes water air occupies forest land animal habitat as well the more we cut down on our forest land animal habitat is lost am i right number 3 cruelty for animal kingdom No matter how much we love chicken nuggets, fish or meat, we got to agree that we are killing animal for our own taste against moral values of life. Am I right? As per statistics, 70 billion animals are killed each year, so you can enjoy your meal in your plate. And also, approximately 1.2 trillion aquatic species are killed each year. If we continue killing animals at this speed, when we reach 10 billion population, we will outgrow the numbers to serve our people leaving no animal alive in this animal kingdom well how about crops did you hear about the locust attack on our crops in many parts of india this year why do you think these locust attack 
farmlands. It is certainly because of the unseasonal heavy rainfall in locust spring breeding tracts and also due to the strong unexpected winds in this particular location. We really cannot continue to rely on conventional farming. As per recent study, scientists claims that traditional agricultural farming will collapse in the next two to three decades because of climate change. So, what do we do now? We really have no choice other than changing ourselves to lab food perhaps. Food? In fact, do you know, as per scientist, this farm-free food is better than your caged chicken. Since the real chicken living on the so-called farm is caged, injected with hormones, fed unnatural food, never exposed to sunlight, nor the poor hen never gets to see a blade of grass and goes on to be culled. Now let's dive into how lab-grown chicken is made. It's easy as extracting a muscle stem from a chicken, divide it into pieces and are further immersed in a chicken broth which has sugar, salt, vitamins, proteins and nutrients in a chicken. Along with a perfect oxygen rich environment and regulated temperature to grow your chicken. The lab grown chicken is ready with same taste as the original farm chicken. Well, if this farm free chicken tastes same as your conventional farm chicken, then isn't this a win-win for both land and water? Yes, you require less land, less water to maintain this animal kingdom. Not only that, it is also believed that lab-grown meat can reduce the current 60% carbon emissions into the atmosphere. Also, many food products like coffee, dairy, flour are being grown in the labs and will hit the markets once regulatory approvals are obtained. In fact, do you know, Singapore is the first to approve lab-grown meat in the world. Well, if lab-grown and a farm-grown meat taste the same, how about consuming it? Is it safe to eat a lab-grown meat? In fact, as per researchers, a lab-grown meat is free of E. coli or the salmonella bacteria unlike a regular farm-grown meat. But that doesn't mean it is safe to use as the experts believe a lab-grown meat could have some side effects due to the hormones used in the food making process. If side effect could be a con to the lab-grown meat process, we also have some pros to it. Let's dive deep into the pros of this lab-grown meat process. In perspective, you can always customize the choice of the nutrients in your cultured meat. Say for example, too much of red meat consumption can lead to heart disease, diabetes. It's due to the high saturated fat content in the red meat. But now, with a customizable option, you can remove the saturated fat and replace it with a healthy option like omega-3 fats in your cultured meat. Isn't this a great boon to heart patients who are not able to consume red meat? So, apart from this, the current conventional crops that grow in the farm might affect due to global warming by 2050. In fact, this will decrease both the quality and the quantity of crops. Well, with these pros in mind, could we conclude that the lab food is the best alternative? In fact, that's a tricky question. I would say it's a new trend with many unknown answers as we really need to know about the hormones injected to make a lab food, its side effects along with the nutrients that's being injected in it. Well, in this audio, I would like to bring to your awareness on the emerging food term, lab-grown food. In fact, even though this lab-grown food could have pros for the environment, like reducing the carbon footprints and also helping a customizable, convenient nutrition option for heart patients, do not know the hidden cons in this food-making process is the real fact. Also, we already know how much the big corporates and the dairy industry contributed in the hormone injection to the cows, which had caused a big biological impact on the human's health in the past decade. With this in mind, I think we need to smartly decide if this lab-grown food is a good choice of diet over our regular conventional farm food. Let's all hope that time will let us know which is the good food option. Until that, we all will be still in the deciding process to cook. If you like my video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Facts and Awareness. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.